Now, my next fighter before... My next fighter before I start my top 40 fighters of the last 40 years, an independent rating system with my opinion out of it, um, is going to be Johnny Tapia, after which I will upload some more older retired fighters um, and modern fighters while I get the top 40 ready um, for that little four video series, 10 fighters at a time. So in this video, we are looking at the career of Johnny Tapia, the multiple low weight champion. And Johnny Tapia, in his first 20 professional fights, goes 19 wins, no loss, one draw, with 12 KOs, um, leaving himself combined record of 19-0 and one with 12 KOs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, Johnny Tapia did beat top 10 contender Miguel Martinez um, in his first 20 pro fights. He also gained a win over John Michael Johnson, who is a former world champion. And he also gained another win over a former world champion when he beat former top 10 rated Jesus Chong. So, in Johnny Tapia's first 20 professional fights, he goes two win, no loss, no draw against champions. Um, why I put one win, no loss, no draw against all of famous, I do not know. Um, it's zeros. And he's also two wins, no loss, no draw um, against top 10 rated fighters. Johnny Tapia has also fought no top three rated fighters, nor has he fought any ring champions. So Tapia in his first 20 professional fights goes unbeaten. I think in some ways Tapia is a little bit underrated as a fighter. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. The point of this playlist is to highlight many of these fighters so any boxing fans can look at the videos and make up their own mind um, at the end of the day. I'll just put out the information. So Tapia into his next 20 professional fights, where I've righted the Hall of Fame record there. He goes again, 19 wins, no loss, one draw with 11 KOs this time. So from his first 40 fights, Johnny Tapia is unbeaten, 38 win, no loss, two draw with 23 KOs. Now, Johnny Tapia in this 20 fight run, um, unbeaten in his first 40, he beats another former world champion, that is Rolando Bohol. He then also gets a draw against top 10 contender Ricardo Vargas before also then gaining win over top 10 contender Arthur Johnson. Johnny Tapia then beats another former world champion, that is top 10 and top 3 rated champion Hugo Rafael Soto. So Johnny Tapia is still unbeaten in his pro career. He's now four win, no loss, no draw um, against world champions. He's 0, 0, 0 against Hall of Fame fighters. And Johnny Tapia has now fought five top 10 rated fighters and has a record unbeaten thus far of four wins, no loss, one draw. He's also now fought and beat his first top three rated fighters. That is the aforementioned champion Hugo Rafael Soto. Um, and Johnny Tapia has yet to fight a ring champion. So where Tapia will rate in my first top 40, if he'll even get in, um, is a big question. Meanwhile, let us go on to Johnny Tapia's next 20 professional fights and see what he adds to this. Now, he has a larger list on this slide, a busier slide. Now, he goes 16 wins, 4 losses, no draw with 5 KOs. Up to the 60 fight mark, so Tapia finally suffers his first career defeats. Um, so from 60 fights, Tapia has a record of 54 wins, 4 losses, 2 draws um, with 28 knockouts. Now, Johnny Tapia beats another former world champion, that is top 10 and top 3 rated Danny Romero. He then also beats another former world champion um, and a good fighter, top 10 rated Rodolfo Blanco, before beating another excellent little fighter, okay, um, top 10 and top 3 rated champion Nana Yorkonadu, who was an excellent little battler down there. Um, so that's three champions on this slide on the trot. He then fights um, former ring champion, that is top 10 and top 3 rated champion Pauli Ayala, um, who of course beats Johnny Tapia and then Johnny Tapia beats a common Pacquiao opponent top 10 and top 3 rated champion Jorge Alicia Julio he then fights um, top 10 and top 3 rated ring champion Paulie Ayala for a second time suffering a second defeat he then fights top 10 rated contender Kuatemek Gomez um, beating him and then he also beats top 10 rated champion Cesar Soto he then gains another excellent win over former champion Tough Guy, top 10 and top 3 rate champion Manuel Medina, before closing out this much bigger and better slide, okay, fighting his first Hall of Fame opponent, recent Hall of Famer from the last few years, top 10 um, and top 3 rate champion multiweight king Marco Antonio Barrera, um, who defeats Johnny Tapia. 
So Tapia by now has had 13 fights against champions um, with a record of 10 wins and 3 defeats. And he has now really fought his first Hall of Famer. Um, pardon, slide one. Um, he's now no win, one loss, no draw against um, the one Hall of Famer, Barrera, that he has fought. And Johnny Tapia has now had 15 fights against top 10 rated fighters and has a record of 11 wins, 3 losses and 1 draw. Johnny Tapia also has 8 fights against top 3 rated fighters with a record of 5 wins, 3 losses, no draw. And Johnny Tapia has fought his first ring champion, okay, on two occasions. Um, that is the aforementioned Pauli Ayala, um, of course, who was one of the top fighters at Super Mountain when Pacquiao was there. And Pauli Ayala was a good fighter himself. So Johnny Tapia has lost both fights to a ring champion. He's no win, two loss, no draw against ring champions. But Johnny Tapia did indeed fight a lot of world champions, and he also is a multiple weight champion himself, as you will see later. Um, but meanwhile, let us go on to the final slide covering Johnny Tapia's remaining in um, career fights before we go to his stats. So Johnny Tapia in his career has a further six fights going five wins, one loss, two uh Five win, one loss, no draw with two KOs. Um, so he retires with a record of 59 wins, five losses, two draws with 30 knockouts. Now, Johnny Tapia beats um, his final world champion on this slide. That is top 10 and top 3 rated. Good fighter, Mauricio Pastrana, um, top 10 and top 3 rated champion. So Johnny Tapia ends up beating his last major opponent under criteria. So he ends with 14 fights against world champions with 11 wins and three loss. He's still in the Hall of Fame category, only got the one defeat to Barrera um, and he's now ends on 16 fights against top 10 rated fighters Tapia with a record of 12 wins 3 losses and 1 draw and Tapia almost but just by a shy amount fails to break into double figures in fights against top 3 rated fighters coming in with 9 6 wins and 3 losses and against ring champions um, no change from the last slide Johnny Tapia actually um, ends um, with the same no win 2 loss no draw um, against the one ring champion he fought, Pauli Ayala. So there's Tapia's basic career breakdown. Let's go to his stats. And Johnny Tapia beat a lot of world champions. He beat 11 individual world champions, which is a lot. He also fought a combined 137 rounds against world champions. Now, Johnny Tapia fought the one Hall of Famer at the moment. That is Marco Antonio Barrera. Johnny Tapia did not win that fight, so he went 12 rounds against the one Hall of Famer he has fought um, in his career thus far. Now, one thing Johnny Tapia did have is a lot of world title fights. Johnny Tapia um, ended with 19 world title fights. He won 17 of those, only lost one and had one draw, so he only lost one world title fight from 19. He ends up with six KOs or stoppages inside those 17 world title fight wins. And Johnny Tapia also made lots of title defences, coming in with 14 defences overall. This is what I mean about Deontay Wilder, people saying he's on this legendary title run. But in boxing history... There are dozens and dozens and dozens of fighters who have made far more defences. So Johnny Tapia ends with 192 title fight rounds for combined in his career. So almost at the 200 mark, just shy of it. Now in fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, Johnny Tapia ends on 18 fights against opponents under that criteria. And in terms of wins against rated fighters or champions, Johnny Tapia ends on 14 wins over top 10 rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. So there's Tapia's first stat slide. Now time for the KO stats. And Johnny Tapia scored 30, 30 KOs in his career now. Just over half of those, um, at 17 um, inside the distance wins, were inside three rounds or less. And Johnny Tapia also scored eight first round KOs. Now, the final three stats at the bottom, KO stats. Johnny Tapia scored two KOs um, over world champions. He scored no KOs over a Hall of Famer due to him not at the moment beating any. Um, and Johnny Tapia scored six inside the distance wins. Um, in world title fights. So to me, the underrated multiweight champion Johnny Tapia fought a lot of world champions down there, a lot of good fighters down there. Um, let us now go on to his ring ratings and unbeaten run. So when we look at Johnny Tapia's ring ratings, okay, Johnny Tapia was a top 10 rated fighter across the various divisions he fought in for a combined 11 years. Now, just over half of those um, at six years, Johnny Tapia was also top three rated as a fighter. And Johnny Tapia was never ring champion in any division he fought in. Now, under my point system for the ring rating points, um, to give a score on how consistently and highly and how long they were rated, Johnny Tapia comes in with 96 points 
points under the ring range system. Um, just to give you an idea, because uh, someone has asked me privately, what do other fighters get? Because you started this slide later. I do have all these. Um, inf I do have all that information for all the other fighters. Muhammad Ali, for example, has three hundred and nine. Uh, to give you an idea, Joe Lewis, 289. So, Johnny Tapia's longest unbeaten run, okay? Johnny Tapia was unbeaten for a near half century, coming in with a 48-fight unbeaten run. Of course, that bars opposition or time. Just basically the longest number of fights they were unbeaten in their career. Some fighters have unbeaten runs fighting better fighters. Some have unbeaten runs fighting weak fighters. Um, but the longest unbeaten run Tapia had overall was 48 fights. And Johnny Tapia, okay, was a three-weight world champion and he was also a unified super flyweight champion. Tapia unified belts at super flyweight. Now, Johnny Tapia did capture a whole number of world titles and I think goes a bit... Um, underrated for his title fight accomplishments, being a three-weight champion and a unified super flyweight champion, but he also captured five world title belts. Johnny Tapia captured the WBO super flyweight title. He then unified it with the IBF super flyweight title. He also, in his career, captured the WBA bantamweight title, the WBO bantamweight title, and the IBF featherweight title. So, Johnny Tapia... Um, a slightly underrated fighter, a multiple weight world champion, lots of world title fights, lots of good opponents, didn't win them all but still fought lots of good opponents, beating some, losing to others. Um, I'm debating whether to put my last modern fighter who qualifies, Diego Corrales' video in before I start my top 40 and upload the older fighters, but I'll see. But there's Tapia, I'm out.